Andy is uh, the Child and Adolescent Neurodevelopment Initiative, and it's a research program that is committed to improving the lives of individuals with a variety of neurodevelopmental disorders. And we focus on early onset schizophrenia, early onset mood disorders, and developmental disorders such as autism and fragile X syndrome. I think we're very unique because we study a variety of disorders that present in childhood. And in so doing, we have the ability to search for biomarkers that distinguish between the various disorders. We also can search for biomarkers that are tightly linked uh, to domains of dysfunction, like having uh, social deficits that we see across disorders. Um, we also are seeking biomarkers that may um, enhance early identification and might um, improve uh, preventative efforts and also improve treatment. The Candy Lab is our, a research endeavor where we're really trying to look at the neurobiological underpinnings of many of the disorders that we face and are trying to treat. So we are studying mood disorders, autism spectrum disorders, and other neurodevelopmental disorders. And we're using a variety of methods including neuroimaging techniques as well as EEG uh, and functional near-infrared spectroscopy uh, to really look in many different ways at these disorders and trying to understand uh, the biology behind them. So we are using both functional connectivity, which looks at how different regions of the brain communicate with each other and how that might be impacted in uh, autism. We're also looking at magnetic resonance spectroscopy, which allows us to measure the levels of different brain chemicals in the brain and how they may be impacted by autism and, and uh, what role they might have in the disorder. Bringing together all of these different uh, imaging modalities, uh, we're able to get a better understanding of what, what makes kids with autism tick uh, and how we can uh, better help them in developing treatments and developing other interventions for them. The work that I'm doing I am hoping will help us discover what are called biomarkers for these disorders uh, as well as uh, markers of uh, what types of uh, medications might be effective in these disorders and what kids may be responsive to these different medications. ECHO stands for Environmental Influences on Child Health Outcomes and it is a study that's funded through NIH, and it involves 71 existing pediatric cohorts. So it's, it's a huge effort. It's a consortium, uh, and it's a collaborative effort. And the goal of ECHO is to really look at early life environmental exposures and their association with pediatric health outcomes. Our neurodevelopmental work uses a multimodal approach to try to understand brain function, brain structure, and brain connectivity to identify the correlates of behaviors and associate that with the neurodevelopmental pattern. Ultimately, we're looking for biomarkers. Biomarkers are biological observations that we can observe that correlate with behaviors. Biomarkers are very subtle. Uh, in order to identify these, we need very precise methods in order to uh, elucidate these changes uh, in comparison to normal developmental and age-related change. The better we can understand biomarkers, the better armed our patients are, our clinicians are, and our families are to uh, try to optimize the outcome of their uh, clinical experience. Neuroinformatics is a division of research that concerns itself with developing the information infrastructure for neuroscience. That includes data, models, uh, and computational resources necessary to understand how the brain works. As we are looking for brain features that are very subtle, we require large amounts of data to be able to use in the search for biomarkers. In order to generate large-scale studies, we need information, models, and resources that help share that information and dis disseminate it across the research investigators. So we are working to develop this infrastructure, both locally and regionally, to help promote data sharing, uh, computational analysis and knowledge aggregation. AR or augmented reality is a type of technology that allows you to overlay information such as animations or information like videos, characters, onto the real world. AR and VR are very exciting because they offer environments that are safe and repeatable for learning and they can also be worn into the real world as assistive technology for individuals, their families, care providers, and even the public, so it's very exciting. The Schreiber Center is just full of expertise in this field, and they're wonderfully supportive. And they have this balance that they strike that ties together um, innovation and pioneering with day-to-day -day help for the families that they serve. So that's perfect for the kind of research that I'm doing that's very novel, 
pushing the state of the art, but the push that I'm putting into it is to move it into everyday practical use to support individuals. I see great promise in some of our research. Um, I think that we are doing some really wonderful work uh, in the biomarker discovery area that uh, will inform health outcomes of children. So the biomarker work of David Kennedy and Dr. Cochran is very rich and the biomarker work uh, that's part of the ECHO effort is really exciting. And finally, I think that the work of Julie Lemoyne uh, focusing on the use of these um, technologies to help individuals get through their day-to-day -day life is also very exciting.